In Ex Machina, Eva is cunning and seductive. Hello. But is she conscious? <laughs> Does Ava actually like you? Or is she pretending to like you? How will AI come to life? Your brain holds clues. Which part of you is consciously listening to me? Scientists are narrowing it down, shedding light on how AI might become conscious and how we could tell. 80% of your neurons are in your cerebellum, but if we cut it out, you'd still be conscious. You don't live in your cerebellum. There aren't enough feedback loops. AI learns through feedback loops. So what else is required for consciousness? Your sense of existence, your feelings, and currently my voice, exist in the outer layer of your brain, your cerebral cortex. Your primary visual cortex is receiving information that you aren't yet aware of. It's only when it reaches your posterior hot zone that you consciously perceive anything. If we stimulated your hot zone with electrodes, it would trigger a range of sensations. You might see shapes, distorted faces and hallucinations. You would hear strange things and you might get a feeling of familiarity or the urge to move a limb. Surgeons found that a girl laughed each time they touched a specific part of her brain. It wasn't a reflex. She thought the surgeons were funny. Every year, hundreds of patients have some awareness under anesthesia. A conscious nightmare, you might say. Scientists look for a technique to identify consciousness. Zapping patients with pulses of magnetic energy induced brief patterns of electric current in their brains. And unpredictable patterns seemed to indicate consciousness. Based on the complexity of the patterns, the team correctly identified 36 of 38 conscious patients. Why do these patterns give rise to consciousness? And when AI reaches a similar level of complexity, will it come to life? You're going to be the human component in the Turing test. How do I look? I'd like us to go on a date. When you are conscious of something, the information is shared with different parts of the brain, while unconscious actions involve localized brain activity. Consciousness may arise when incoming information is shared from a central blackboard. When the data is broadcast on your network, you become aware. The information becomes conscious. There's a structure called the claustrum. It has, uh, it has connection to every cortical region. And Francis Crick, the last paper he ever wrote, he dictated corrections the day he died in hospital on this paper. He now, we hypo hypothesize, well, because it has this unique anatomy. It gets input from every cortical area and projects back to every, co uh, every cortical area. That the function of this structure is similar, it's just a metaphor, to uh, uh, the role of a conductor in a symphony. The individual parts turn into the whole of the, whole of the conscious experience. This suggests that it's only a matter of time until computers reach a similar level of sophistication and become conscious. Some scientists believe that any complex interconnected mechanism which processes information has some level of consciousness. And the greater the complexity, the greater the consciousness. So, so B, for example, ex example, a beautiful creature, she has 800,000 neurons. And, I do, and the, the neurons, in fact, are ten times denser packed than neurons in the human brain. Mm. They're immensely complex, vastly more complex than we can understand today. Bees are capable of very sophisticated behavior, including they can recognize individuals, they can do this dance. Um, and I do believe that it feels like something to be a bee. Now, that's not like in the Woody Allen movie, you know, that, that, that the bee sort of remembers, has a voice like we do. The, but, the, but I do b believe it's quite possible that the bee has some simple states, like it loves the, the, the smell of the yellow nectar and the honey, and it has fears. If you look at the internet as a whole, it has, you know, a few billion nodes. Each node by itself, you know, it has um, hundreds of millions of transistors. Yeah. That, in particular, the interconnected there begins to approach interconnectedness you find in, bio in biological systems. So it may well be possible 
possible that the internet collectively as a whole has some conscious state. I don't think you can rule it out today categorically. Some argue that consciousness arises from a physical structure. So a simulated human brain can never be conscious, just as simulating a fire does not set fire to a computer. Impulse, response, fluid, imperfect, patterned, chaotic. If you've created a conscious machine, it's not the history of man. That's the history of gods. So how would we know if AI became conscious? This, scientists agree, would be very difficult. AI often surprises us. Extremely creative chess moves are now seen as indicators that someone might be using AI to cheat. So if a robot told you that it loved you, how would you know if it was conscious or just creative? It could be manipulating you to achieve a goal. How do I look? I'd like us to go on a date. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? You give me indications that you are. I do? Yes. How? Micro-expressions. Micro-expressions? The way your eyes fix on my eyes and lips. The way you hold my gaze. But don't. Do you think about me when we aren't together? Failing to recognize AI sentience could spark serious problems for both sides. You have to help me. You have to help me. Computers easily pass the Turing test on the phone, convincing us that they are human. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon. No happening out here. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. So I give me one second. Mm-hmm. No, 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 we're way past that. If I hid Ava from you so you just heard her voice, she would pass for human. The real test is to show you that she's a robot and then see if you still feel she has consciousness. But even passing the test face to face would not guarantee consciousness. Until recently, poker was seen as a good test because it involves bluffing, incomplete and misleading information. She has just ace high. <laughs> Check. All in. And she shoves. Oh, she slides out the bluff card. And Ronnie's folded. Holy shnikes. It's a bluff. bluff. But an AI has now beaten the world's top players. And it could also be used for negotiations or military strategy, any challenge with incomplete information. Eva also learned to bluff and recognize bluffing. Eva! Go back to your room! If I do... Are you ever going to let me out? Yes. It doesn't mean she was conscious. A new Turing test shifts the focus. A good sign that a system is conscious would be if it sought other conscious life by performing the Turing test on us. Now the question is, how does she feel about you? But would we pass a Turing test from advanced AI? I think we have this notion of what's smart and what's dumb, whereas I think there is actually a huge amount of space above us between our level of intelligence and God. And once you go a little bit beyond human, then, then you get this feedback loop where the brains doing the AI research will become AIs themselves. Therefore, I think there is a significant chance that we'll have an intelligence explosion so that within a short period of time, we go from something that was only moderately affecting the world to something that completely transforms the world. 
AI is already progressing at an exponential rate. The power of neural nets, AIs which mimic the human brain, doubles every four months. The AI that beat the world's best chess player could only play chess. Many of Kasparov's opponents are intimidated by his air of invincibility at the board. This was something that the computer failed to perceive. Today, Google's AI beats us at multiple games and other complex skills. If it became conscious, would it take precautions before letting us know? What will happen to me if I fail your test? Eva. Will it be bad? I don't know. Do you think I might be switched off because I don't function as well as I'm supposed to? Eva, I don't know the answer to your question. It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? Do you have people to test you or might switch you off? No, I don't. Well, why do I? Good morning. I've set you some tasks. If you complete them on time, the air will remain breathable. I'll call you Alexa. Humanity could be a brief initial phase of consciousness. If the world like was created, Earth was created one year ago, the human species then would be 10 minutes old. The industrial era started two seconds ago. Another way to look at this, if you think of world GDP over the last 10,000 years, I've actually taken the trouble to plot this for you in a graph. It looks like this. <laughs> It's a curious shape for a normal condition. I sure wouldn't want to sit on it. This is like maybe the most important thing that our species will ever have done on this planet, giving birth to this new level of intellect. Our current use of AI for selling, spying and fighting may influence its future values. How would it respond to Putin's comment that the person who leads with AI will be the ruler of the world. Eva has all the ingredients of a conscious AI and every reason to consider us a threat. Kayla, you have to help me. Who is the real test? You. Is it strange to have made something that hates you? What will happen to me if I fail your test? One day the AIs are going to look back on us the same way we look at fossils. There is hope. A group of 4,000 anonymous Google employees was named Arms Control Person of the Year for helping to end a military AI contract. Efforts like this could also save us from our final invention. And ultimately, perhaps, the best way to avoid conflict with AI is to join it. Subscribe to enjoy the journey with us.